As our story begins, Sam has just returned to work after having been gone for a while on his journey to find Solaris 10 Patch Enlightenment. Sam is getting his first cup of much needed coffee when Sue, his co worker, walks by. Morning, Sam. Wild weekend? Oh, by the way, the boss wants to see you in her office. You wanted to see me? Yes, Sam. Please take a seat. How's the Solaris 10 patching coming? Have you been able to resolve all our issues? Well, I've been, um, kind of busy. Don't tell me. Let me guess. You've been in search of Solaris 10 patch enlightenment. Well, actually, I can recite the five points of the Sun Microsystem Solaris 10 patching philosophy. That's great, Sam. But can you fix the Solaris 10 patching issues we are having right now? No, I, um, I need to learn more. A lot more. Listen, Sam. What you do on your own time is your business. But when you're at work, I need you to give 110% of your energy towards resolving our Solaris 10 patch issues. Can you do that? I think so. Yes, of course I can. You can count on me, boss. I'm on it. Who do I know that knows somebody at Sun Microsystems that can talk to me about Solaris 10 patching? I've got it. Sue over in OS. She knows everybody. I'll just give her a quick call. Hi, this is Sue. Hey, Sue. It's Sam. I seem to recall you know a lot of Solaris 10 guys over at Sun Microsystems. Can you give me a name of someone I can talk to about patching best practices? Hi, Sam. Sure, I'll email you the name and number of a guy I know over at Sun. We call him Patchman. Perfect. Thanks, Sue. I owe you one. Bye. Hi. How can I help you? Hi. Patchman? Call me Bill. Well, um, Bill. I need to know everything you can tell me about Solaris 10 patching best practices. You have come to the right place, my friend. Sit back and relax while I take control of your screen and take you on a little cyberspace show and tell. The first best practice you want to follow when patching a Solaris 10 system is to always install the latest patch and package utility patches first. Before you download the patches, be sure to read the README file to identify any other dependencies or requirements. This is important because installing the latest patch and package utility patches ensures that the patching utilities on your system function correctly. Where do I find the latest patch and package utility patches? Good question. You can find the latest patch and package utility patches for your system on the sunsolve.sun.com website. To access sunsolve, start a web browser and enter sunsolve.sun.com. Next, log in using your Sun Online account. You need a Sun Online account to access sunsolve. If you don't have a Sun Online account, it's easy enough to register for one and it's free. Just follow the instructions on the website. You'll also be asked to accept the SunSolve license agreement. Having a Sun Online account allows you access to no-cost patches, such as security patches and device drivers. Access to for-fee patches requires not only a Sun Online account, but also a Solara subscription or a service plan, such as Sun Spectrum or a Solaris service plan. You can get more information on Solaris subscriptions or about the service plan that is right for your company on sun.com. Just so you know, the patch utilities patches are included in the no-cost patches. So, here we are on SunSolve's main page. The patch utility patches are listed under the latest patch updates. You will download and install the appropriate patch for your system before you install any other patches to ensure that the patching utilities on your system will function correctly. Now, let's move on to our next Solaris 10 patching best practice. 
The next best practice is to upgrade to the latest Solaris 10 update release during your next major maintenance window. But what if I don't want to upgrade? My system is stable as is, and I'm afraid that any changes will cause problems and downtime. Not to worry. Each Solaris update is intensely tested to preclude problems and unscheduled downtime. Having the latest Solaris 10 release provides a good quality baseline for your system. You can find the latest Solaris 10 update on SunSolve in the Patches and Updates section. You'll find the latest Solaris 10 download under the Downloads section of the Patches and Updates page. The software download is free, so all you have to do is select an option – DVD Full Image, DVD Segmented Image, or CD Image – and click Download. Let's go to our next Solaris 10 patching best practice. The next best practice is to keep as up-to-date as possible with the contents of the Sun Alert patch cluster in between major maintenance windows. Why should I bother with the Sun Alert patch cluster?